Fucking Christ. All right, folks. It's the plague again, and here we are at the bye week. And I remember that I told the people that every year on the during the bye week, I'd make a video about, you know, state of the team and where we're at, where I want us to go, which is, of course, all the way to the Super Bowl. I want us to get a ring. Uh, and I would also, you know, basically, uh, basically a rundown of the good, the bad, and the ugly for the year. Uh, so far, but folks, the uh, the thing is, we got an early bye week this year for whatever reason. I don't know, and I, I don't much like it, but it is what it is. Uh, this is week five of the 2024-2025 uh, uh, NFL season, and here we are already at the goddamn bye week. I don't know what the fuck the league is it, it was thinking, but... I guess it is what it is. You get what you get and you don't get upset. So instead of sitting here and bitching about an early bye week, uh, I am going to reminisce a little bit because, folks, we're at an even record right now, two and two. Uh, for those of you that need reminding, I'm sure, I mean, you probably didn't forget, but just in case anybody did, we're, we're at two and two. All right, we beat the Packers in Brazil. We beat the, uh, we beat the Packers in Brazil. We lost to the goddamn Falcons. Uh, we beat the Saints, and we lost to the Buccaneers in that order. So we beat the Packers, lost to the Falcons, beat the Saints, and lost to the Buccaneers. To, to which I say, Huh? What the fuck? Look, folks... I thought we'd be four. I thought we'd be four and zero at this point, or, or or maybe at the most three and one. But two and two, especially like you win, you lose, you win, you lose. I don't get. I don't get it. And so I'm reminiscing. I'm reminiscing about how we won the Super Bowl, and the next few years after that were rebuild years, and during those years. It was really tough to be an Eagles fan. It really hurt to wake up some mornings. Because, I mean... <laughs> while we made the playoffs... While we've made the playoffs pretty much every year since since Super Bowl 52... Some of those seasons have been really painful. And I remember having to walk around, alright, wearing my Eagles gear like a goddamn idiot and a fucking fool while people talk their shit. And I really didn't have that much of a defense because my team was, was look for anybody who hasn't, who, who hasn't seen my videos that I put out during the goddamn rebuild years, they're on YouTube. You can watch them now. You'll probably have to scroll way down to see them. Cause again, it's been a few years, but I mean, pretty much my catchphrase during those years was please, Philly, just win a ball game. We've won half the ball games that we played, but I'd really rather have won all of them, or at least three of them. And, you know, this start, this rock, this kind, this kind of been a rocky start for the birds, I admit. Which leads me to believe that something's got to be done, all right? Now, I don't know what that something has to be. All right. I am not Jeffrey Lurie. I am not Nick Sirianni. I am not Vic Fangio. And I am not Kellen Moore. That's the name of the offensive coordinator, Kellen Moore. It took me a few seconds to remember, but I am not Vic Fangio. I am not Kellen Moore, and I am certainly not Nick Sirianni, and I'm not Jeffrey Lurie. But once again, here we are. Here we are. I'm hearing fire Nick, fire Nick, fire Nick. Oh, oh, we <coughs> bring bring back Belichick. We want Belichick. Give us Bill Belichick. Nick Sirianni is crap. Folks, folks. The players said it best themselves after the loss to Tampa when they said, we worry too much about the heat. We should have been more concerned with the game. We should have been more concerned with winning. 
but we're sitting over here worrying about the heat like a bunch of pansies because we're in Florida. We got Jalen Hurts himself, of all people, in the locker room talking to, to his fucking teammates saying, look, this is on us. We fucked up. This is our fuck up. This is our fault. We, the players, need to do better. Now, folks, that's a man right there. Jalen Hurts, the fact that he took responsibility and he held his teammates accountable and he didn't blame the head coach. He didn't blame the coordinators. He blamed himself. He bl he, and he held, I mean, he, I don't know about necessarily blamed himself, but he certainly held himself accountable and he held his, his fucking teammates accountable. That makes him a man. That makes him a man right there. The teammates being held accountable and holding themselves accountable, the players holding themselves accountable, that makes them men, all right? You people blaming the head coach and blaming the coordinators and blaming everybody but the people who held themselves accountable for the loss makes you a goddamn idiot. It makes you a moron. This is another case, once again, of Fred Fucknuts doesn't know what he's talking about. And so he's luring all these fucking bandwagoners to his side with his speech, with his talk of, oh, the head coach needs to be fired and you need to bring in uh, Bill Belichick and Andy Reid and, oh, oh, Chip Kelly was better than this guy. <laughs> Fuck you. Maybe I'm crazy. Maybe I'm delusional. Maybe I'm fucking hallucinating. All right? Maybe I'm I, 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 I'm tasting colors that I didn't even know existed. All right? Maybe I'm sitting over here tasting the color purple and fucking watching Beethoven's Fifth Symphony... Not listening to it, but watching it. Like I actually see the fucking music. Maybe, maybe I'm tasting colors, listening to music. Uh, maybe I'm tasting colors, uh, seeing music, and and you know being, and and fucking. Maybe maybe I'm just nuts. But me, plague, I think that what needs to be done is mostly being done. I think the players holding themselves accountable is a good start. I think Jalen Hurts being a man, being a leader, and holding his guys accountable is a good start. Now, 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 is the coaching staff completely blameless? No. I think they need to make a few changes to their play calling. I think they need to shore up. I, I, I think they need to do two things, and these are going to sound like no-brainers to you, but bear with me. They need to shore up the defense and I think on offense, they need to be a bit more aggressive. All right? You'll notice that the year we won Super Bowl 52 and got our first ever Super Bowl ring, the year we took home the fucking Lombardi, we were the meanest, most aggressive, hardest sons of bitches in the National Football League. We had the aggressive offensive line like a son of a bitch. All right? Believe it or not, the plague likes an aggressive offense. All right? I think, honestly... The reason we have the record we have is because we're kind of pussyfooting around a little bit. We need to stop doing that. I want bad, mean, aggressive, evil players. That's what I want. I want an evil offensive line with a pack of fucking demons that'll eat the other team's whole fucking family. That's what I want. That's what I want. Grab somebody. I mean, I, I want Jalen Hurts in the offensive line walking onto that gridiron like they're ready to fucking kill somebody. I mean, for Christ's sake, give them fucking broadswords if you have to. 
<laughs> I want aggression. I want big, massive, fuck you energy on the offensive line. That's what I want, because that's what won us the fucking Super Bowl. We, we, we won the Super Bowl because in every one of our games, we went fucking Super Saiyan, all right? We were on some Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan, Kaioken times 20 shit, and that's what I want to see in the offensive line. That's the fucking state of the team. I don't think we're being aggressive enough. I think we need to ramp up the aggression. And I also think we need to have fewer penalties called on us. But honestly, I would rather the aggression be ramped up considerably. I said it once in this video and I'll say it again. I want bad, mean, evil, aggressive bastards in the offensive line. That's what I want. Now, we got the Cleveland Browns next week. I think that's going to be, you know, I, I think that's going to be a win. Of course, I expect the Philadelphia Eagles win every time. But, folks, full disclosure, if we lose to this team, I will go absolutely fucking apeshit. There is no goddamn excuse for losing to the Cleveland Browns. None. But I gotta eat me some lunch. So I'm gonna I gotta cut this video and I I gotta kill it here. But folks, that's the state of the birds. More aggression will probably mean more wins and more ranks. Shoring up the defense won't hurt either. But I, I'm focused on the offense at this point. More aggression. Demons. Fucking demons. All right? The offensive line in our Super Bowl year, they were demons. I want people to look at the Philadelphia Eagles offensive line and say these people are intergalactic invaders from the ninth realm of hell. They're, de they're demons. There's no other word for it, man. They're demons.